G'day there. Just imagine if scorpions could fly. Proudly brought to you by Cheesy FX. There is a group of insects called scorpion flies. What are they? Why are they called scorpion flies? And do they sting? Scorpion flies are long-legged predatory insects with a distinctive beak, long thin antennae and two pairs of wings. They are members of the order Mecoptera. It's a small insect order with about 600 species found throughout the world. And in Australia, we only have about 35 species. But scorpion flies have been on Earth since at least the time of the dinosaurs. The fossil evidence suggests that Mecoptera were far more diverse in the past than they are now. The scorpion flies of today superficially resemble long-legged flies such as crane flies, but they are not flies. What's the difference? Scorpion flies have two pairs of flight wings, while true flies in the order Diptera only have one pair of flight wings. The hind wing of true flies, such as shown here on this crane fly, are reduced to drumstick-shaped structures known as halt hairs. These oscillate and help balance flies in flight. There is also a difference in the way common names are written down. Scorpion fly is usually written like this, sometimes like this, but never like this. But when we write the names of true flies in the order Diptera, we separate the words. Crane fly, house fly, etc. But getting back to scorpion flies, where does the scorpion part of their name come from? About 70% of all species of Mecoptera belong to the family Panorpidae. So just to clarify for those that don't know, it goes order, in this case Mecoptera, then it goes family, Panorpidae in this case, and then genus, and then species. I will try to do a bug basics on insect classification at some stage. Males in the family Panorpidae have enlarged and upturned genitalia, which look like the stingers of scorpions. Hence the name scorpion flies. These insects are completely harmless. They do not sting. The family Panorpidae doesn't occur in Australia, so technically we don't have scorpion flies. The ones we usually see belong to the family Batacidae, the hanging flies. And how would we write hanging fly? We would write it like this. Where does their name come from? Well, they're often seen hanging from plants by their front legs and their middle legs, and they use their hind legs to catch prey. They are predators. Those hind legs may look gangly and ungainly, but this hanging fly here managed to flip a beetle end to end very deftly with its hind legs. The mating behaviour of hanging flies is extraordinary. The males give off a pheromone to attract females from a distance. To entice the female closer, he offers her a meal of an insect that he has caught. Females choose males by the size of the offered meal. Who said size doesn't matter? You can see this male here has offered the female two flies. He must be a bit of a stud. One of his victims is clearly a hoverfly, um, but I'm not sure what the other fly is. Once mating has finished, this male may fly off with his gifts to offer them to another female. Scorpion flies have a life cycle of complete metamorphosis. If you're not sure what that is, check out my Bug Basics video on insect life cycles, which I've linked up here um, and in the description as well. But basically, we're looking at a life cycle of egg to larva to pupa to adult. A female drops her eggs randomly on the ground while hanging by her front legs from foliage. The larvae that hatch from these eggs are caterpillar-like and they live under leaf litter and feed on decaying organic matter. Scorpion fly larvae usually pupate in an earthen cell just under the surface of the soil. An adult scorpion fly will eventually emerge from the pupa. Scorpion flies are beneficial insects. In fact, they're amazing insects. I love seeing them. And they should be encouraged into gardens. If you want to learn how to attract insects into gardens, check out this video here. 
Thanks for watching.